Hello children, hope you all are well. May God bless you. I am Divya Yadav, your EVS teacher. Today, I am going to explain the 10th chapter of class 4th, that is Plants with Benefits. Before I explain the chapter, let me first tell the topic that I am going to cover in this chapter. Who grows food? How crops are grown? Journey of food from fields to our homes. Different food items. Recap short. Food. Food is an important part of our lives. Food helps us to grow, gives us energy to do work and keeps us healthy. Children, all living things need energy. And that energy we get from the food we eat. We get food either from plants or from animals. Fruits, nuts, vegetables, cereal, pulses, spices, beverages and oils are some important food items we get from plants. Milk, meat, eggs, fish we get from animals. Who grows food? The food we get from crops is grown by the farmers. They grow different kinds of crops like cereal, pulses, fruits, vegetables, oil seeds, sugar cane and spices. Farmers work very hard on the fields to grow crops. Dairy farm. It is a place where cows and buffaloes are kept in large number for milk. The dairy workers milk the cow and buffaloes and produce cheese and butter. Poultry farm. It is a place where small animals like hens and ducks are kept for meat and eggs. Tea garden. Tea leaves are grown in tea garden. Tea is obtained from the leaves of tea plants by drying them. Coffee plantation. Coffee is grown in coffee plantation. Coffee is obtained from beans of coffee plants which are roasted and ground to make coffee. Crops. Plants that are grown over a large area are called crops. Cultivation. The process of growing crops is called cultivation. Cultivation of crops involves many stages like plowing, sowing, irrigating, weeding and harvesting. Plowing. To grow crops, the soil is first plowed or made loose with a plow. Earlier it is used to be pulled by humans and then by cattle like oxen and bullocks. It took weeks to plow the entire field. Plowing helps the roots of crops to easily penetrate into the soil. Nowadays plowing of soil is done with the help of tractors. Tractors move slowly plowing the soil with teeth in the front. Sowing seeds. Farmers then select healthy seeds suitable for the season. These seeds are sown in the soil. Irrigation. Irrigation is the process by which Sufficient quantity of water is supplied to the crops. Farmers irrigate the crop at regular interval of time. Water is very important for the growth of plants. Different crops require different amount of water. Wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams and canals are the various sources of irrigation. 
applying fertilizers manures and fertilizers are added to the soil to add nutrients that crops would need to give a good yield crop protection with the right amount of water warmth and air when the seeds germinate and seedlings come out they need to be protected from pests diseases and weeds farmers remove the weeds and they also spray pesticides and insecticides to protect the crop from pests insects and diseases natural insecticides like neem leaves are also used to prevent the damage of seeds by insects harvesting the process of cutting and collecting the mature crop is called harvesting to help the farmers the government has provided different means and resources farmers now get good seeds fertilizers and pesticides at very reasonable rates they also get loans to buy tractors and modern agriculture equipment journey of food from fields to our homes once the crops are harvested cereals and pulses are packed in gunny bags and fruits and vegetables are packed in boxes made of cardboard or wood as you can see in the picture children grains and pulses do not get spoiled and can be stored for a long period they are non perishable and are stored in gunny bags fruits and vegetables are perishable items which means that they get spoiled very easily so they are packed in boxes made of cardboard or wood the packed food are sent to wholesale market known as mandi it is transported by carts trucks tractors or trains the grocers vegetables and fruit vendors reach the mandi to buy food items in bulk at wholesale rates they carry them to their area and sell them in retail we buy these food items from the local market we wash them properly cut them and prepare food with them or eat them raw children raw means foods that are not cooked like fruits and nuts different food items children we eat a variety of food items these includes cereals pulses fruits vegetables spices etc as you can see in the picture cereals cereals are the seeds of plants that are rich in carbohydrates it is an important source of energy rice wheat maize barley are some of the cereals that we commonly eat wheat is ground into flour and used to make rotis bread naan noodles etc rice is grounded into flour to make various dishes like idli dosa etc cornflakes and oats are mostly eaten for breakfast pulses pulses are dry seeds of some plants that are rich in proteins some examples of pulses are arahar moong and masoor pulses are rich in protein and help the body to grow and repair worn out cells fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables contain vitamins 
and minerals that protect us from diseases and help us to stay healthy some examples of vegetables are potato brinjal cauliflower and spinach and some examples of fruits are mango guava grapes and banana oranges lemons and grape fruits are rich in vitamin c they are called citrus fruits children we also eat different parts of plants as vegetables carrot turnip radish are roots cabbage spinach are leaves cauliflower broccoli banana flower are flowers ginger potato are stems walnuts cashew nuts are eaten as dry fruits spices spices are different parts of plants they can be flower stem fruit seed root or bark of some plants spices when added to food give it flavor and taste some examples of spices are clove turmeric black pepper cumin etc oil seeds oil seeds are seeds from which cooking oil is extracted the seeds are crushed to get vegetable oil the oil is extracted in the oil mills and then packed in bottles and sachets they are then sold in supermarkets and shops from where we buy them oil is used for cooking food some varieties of oil are mustard groundnut coconut and sunflower beverages any drink other than water is called a beverage for example tea coffee children there are many people like farmers grocers vendors etc who work day and night to make food available to us on a regular basis we should be grateful to them recap short food helps us to grow repair worn out cells and gives us energy we eat a variety of food every day a large number of people are involved in producing food that we eat food travels a long distance before it reaches us a farmer cultivates the crops cultivation of crops involve many stages like plowing sowing irrigating weeding and harvesting the farmer sells the harvested crops in the wholesale market from there they are retailed and reach us we get a variety of food stuff from plants such as fruits vegetables cereals pulses spices oil and nuts that's complete your chapter children thank you children stay home stay safe